So I was just reading this document, and it's about how the Rothschilds helped uh, PG and E uh, get out of bankruptcy and restructure the business and, and whatever. And they had a bill of everything they had to do, which included paying for their lunch, which is pretty hilarious. And uh, they didn't really want them to mention that um, without prior written consent. They didn't want anyone disclosing this information and Rothschild shall have the right to place advertisements, financial and other and journals own expense describing the services to the company. So it's just very interesting to me. So you look at the people here who were part of this and they said David L. Reshnik was the key professional and I was trying to find things out on the internet but Lo well, and behold, hey, there's some biographies in here, and you know I might as well start reading some of these because, you know, these are the the interesting people, of the world. David L. Resnick, managing director, heads Rothschilds Restructuring Group with over 14 years of investment banking experience. Prior to joining Rothschild, Mr. Resnick headed the restructuring group of Peter J. Solomon Company. Previously, Mr. Resnick was with. Lazard, Ferris, and Co. Lazard, Lizard, <laughs> where he was involved. Lazarus, whatever. He was involved in a number of firms' major restructuring assignments. Mr. Essick's past assignments included advising the Walt Disney Company with respect to Euro Disney, Olympia, and York, U.S. Corning Incorporated regarding Dow Corning, AMS, or Ames Department Stores, American Express Company, with respect to Sherrison Leham Holdings, interest in Prime Computer, Betterman Industries, Pan American Corp, and Landmark Land Incorporated. In addition, Mr. Resnick has extensive experience with acquisitions of companies and bankruptcies. Pretty like a vulture, I guess. Including advising Cyclops Corporation in the acquisition of Eastern Stainless Steel Division of East Mint Corporation pursuant to Est... East Met's plan of reorganization. Sun International on their acquisition of Resort International Paradise Island operations as part of resort restructuring. Bull Center Sacklor, a French steel company, on the pro proposal to acquire LTV steel operations during the LTV bankruptcy. And a financial buyer on its acquisition of a healthcare company in Chapter 11 through the purchase of equity as part of a plan of reorganization. Mr. Rensick holds a Bachelor of Arts degree with high honors from Wesleyan University, where he was elected to Phi Beta Kappa and an MBA and JD from the University of Chicago. He is currently a member of the Board of Directors of Home Place of America. Good. Cool. Good for you, man. Stephen S. Ledeau, Managing Director, has over 10 years of restructuring experience. Mr. Ledeau spent six years at the Backstone Corp advising both debtors and creditors in major restructuring assignments. Prior to joining Rothschilds, Mr. Ledeau was portfolio manager of distressed debt at Morgan's Waterfall, Vindy A's and Company Incorporated, Vindy A's, I don't even fucking know it. A private equity firm managing over $600 million of distressed debt assets where he focused on buying bank debts and bonds of troubled companies. Previously, Mr. Ledeau was at Lehman Brothers Incorporated where he focused on distressed debt research. Mr. Liddell's experience advising distressed companies include Bitterman Industries, the Caldor Corporation, Columbia Gas Systems Incorporated, Hills Department Stores Incorporated, Lazeway Transportation Corporation, the Leslie Fay Companies, and Mobile Media Corporation. Mr. Liddell's credit advisory assignments include Cater Air International Corporation, SCI Television Incorporated, and U.S. Trials Incorporated. Mr. Ledeau has a Bachelor's of Science degree from Babson College. Matthew Savage, <coughs> Managing Director, is a member of Rothschild Mergers and Acquisitions Group. Mr. Savage joined Rothschild Incorporated from Rothschild and Sons Limited, United Kingdom, in 1993. Having worked with Rothschilds in the UK since 1987, Mr. Savage has recently advised National Grid on the acquisition of Niagara Mohawk and New England's electrical systems and British Nuclear Fuels on the acquisition of ABV's nuclear business and Westinghouse nuclear business.
He has also advised Henkel on the acquisition of Loctite, the city of New York, on the sale of WNYC TV ad, the Mexican government on the restructuring and sale of Ben, ben Paz. Mr. Savage is currently advising National Grid with respect to the Alliance RTO and with U.S. electric transmission opportunities. Mr. Savage has an MBA from Wharton School, University of Pennsylvania, where he graduated top of the class in securities law and won the prize in securities analysis. Good job on the prize, Charlie. He has a BA in physics from Oxford University, England. Robert S. Mooge, director, focuses on the electricity sector and other infrastructure activities. He joined Rothschild in 1997 from ABN AMRO North America Incorporated, where he was a group vice president in the Project Finance and Utilities Group. Mr. Mudge has focused primarily on project financings in the energy field, ranging from numerous power and infrastructure financings domestically and abroad. His advisory clients have included the New England Electric Systems, KMR Power, the International Generating Company, Dominion Energy, Patrolios Mexicanos, and Siemens. Additionally, he led numerous power and infrastructure financing with ABN, AMRO, as a non-recourse lender. Mr. Mudge has extensive contacts with international financial institutions, capital market underwriters, and multilateral, bilateral agencies. God damn it, that sounds so annoying. Anyways, Mr. Mudge has a BA from Harvard University and an MBA from University of Chicago. Do you do any real work? <laughs> John T. Chang, Vice President, joined Rothschild from CCP Pace, where he was the Director of Strategic Planning. Prior to Pace, Mr. Chang worked at another consulting company. Boston Pacific as a project manager. After several years with the Natural Gas Pipeline Company, Iroquois Gas Transmission Company, Mr. Chang has assisted various clients evaluate and bid into many of the utility generation asset sales in the U.S. Northwest, including Central Maine, Power, Boston, Edison, Niagara Mohawk, and GPU. Mr. Chang advised National Grid on their successful acquisitions of New England, Electric, EUA, and Niagara Mohawk. He has also helped clients on numerous green field generation development and acquisition assignments in the U.S. and internationally include projects in Poland, Ghana, Equatorial Guinea, Guatemala, Nicaragua. Mr. Chang has an MBA financed from the State University of New York, Buffalo. Wow. And a BS, Industrial Engineering from the State University of New York, Buffalo. William R. Shaw, Vice President, is a member of Rothschild's restructuring group. Prior to joining Rothschild, Mr. Shaw was an associate in Peter J. Solomon Company's restructuring group. Mr. Shaw is also an associate at Zulfur Cooper LLC for three years, specializing in turnarounds and reorganizations of distressed companies. Mr. Shaw began his career at Ernest & Young LLP, providing clients with financial and accounting services. Mr. Shaw's restructuring assignments have included key plastics, Geneva Steel, Obcrum Global, Tokiem Corporation, Heartland Steel, Liberty House, Pitrio Retail, Corum Healthcare, and Transworld Airlines. Mr. Shaw holds a Bachelor of Arts degree from the Colgate University and an MBA from the New York University Stern School of Business. <sighs> More people. William D. Cannon, Vice President, is a member of Rothschild's Utilities Group. Mr. Cannon joined Rothschilds in November 1999 from Fieldstone Incorporated. Mr. Cannon is fo focused on the power industry, specializing in mergers and acquisitions of U.S. utilities and independent power producers. At Rothschild, he has played a key role in the national grid accusation of Niagara Mohawk. Mr. Cannon was also part of the Rothschilds U.S. team for Eon. Eon's announced offer to acquire PowerGen. While at Fieldstone, Mr. Cannon ex 
executed M&A related activities in the U.S. and across the globe for both public and private power companies. At Fieldstone, Mr. Cannon worked on the Midlands and Yorkshire acquisitions in the U.K. Gurachi acquisitions in Bolivia and several private transactions in the U.S. Mr. Cannon has also completed several project finance transactions, including the Quezon Power Project, which was awarded Deal of the Year by 1997 by Project Finance International. That's so boring. In addition, Mr. Cannon has worked on several capital market transactions, most notably the bond financing for the Quezon Project. Mr. Cannon has an MBA from the Columbia School of Business and a BA and bullshit from the Warringland School. University of Pennsylvania in finance and in Japanese language and culture. Cool. I didn't know banking is Japanese culture and language, but good try, man. Jason R. Capone is a member of Rothschild's restructuring group. Prior to joining Rothschild, Mr. Capone was a senior financial analyst in Julian Lowkey, Howard, and Zukin's restructuring group for two years. He has also worked as a financial analyst at Zolfo Cooper LLC, a consulting firm specializing in turnarounds and reorganizations of distressed companies. Mr. Capone holds a Bachelor of Science in Finance and Information systems from the New York U Stern School of Business. I hope this thing's on. Oh, I did not want to record this again. Chia Yen, Alice, Ku, Alice Ku is a member of Rothschild's Mergers and Acquisitions Group. Ms. Ku joined Rothschild in 2000. Ms. Ku holds Bachelor of Economics from the UOP, Wartan Scoop. Oh, oh my God, it's over. It's over. It's over. Oh, oh, that was hard. You guys, you guys kill me with this. This text, it's too much.